I'm Tony. And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you. Hello gamers and welcome back to the inn. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshack if you want to call me by my Hearthstone name. And today we'll be heading to rank 10 from rank 11. We'll be playing Mech Mage just like we've been doing in our previous videos. This will probably be the last Road to Legend video we play Mech Mage just because we've been playing it a decent amount. And for those of you who don't want to see the same deck over and over again, totally understand. So we'll probably switch over to like Warrior Paladin or something like that in the next couple episodes. Okay, so this opening hand against a Warrior is actually pretty good. Snow Trucker is something we always look for when we're going against a Warrior in the Mech Warpers are something you always look for, period, because they allow all the other mechs to be played for less, which is, of course, a good thing. Unfortunately, we didn't draw a one drop there. Having the second Snow Chugger is not too bad, though, because um, if he kills the first one, like, let's say, a Bash or an Execute, the second one can follow up just to make sure you can't attack with his weapons, because denying war Ooh, one drop. So we can actually Mech Warper into the one drop now, uh, and if he has the War Axe, he's going to kill the Mech Warper. Then we, we just play another Mech Warper and a Snow Chugger. Then he's drawn between killing Mech Warper and Snow Chugger. He swings in the Mech Warper, and then from there, we just play the other Snow Chugger and help. Never mind. Whirlwind into... Execute. Alright, so never mind. Disregard everything I just said. Planning out next couple turns without identifying that what kind of warrior he is. He's definitely playing patron. I think Snow Trigger here is still a good choice, even though Inoyotron would deny him if he has a weapon here. But if he had a weapon, he probably would have used it last turn. Uh, so playing the Snow Trigger here allows us to freeze him instantaneously. So a 4 drop, so maybe Death Spite? The Elite. Okay, so this, he swings into there, and then we play our Inoyotron next turn. We ping that for 1, swing face for 2, freeze him up. How you say I'm gonna freeze him up? So ping and swing, ping and swing, ping and swing. I guess no. I'm playing the other Snow Chugger here wouldn't have been bad either because if he's frozen, it's not like he would have attacked, been able to attack with his weapon anyway. So playing a taunt when we know he has nothing may have not been the best play, but. We know he's playing Elite, so he could play another one, but he's going to play Armor Smith and an Unstable Ghoul. So his opening hand against us has actually been pretty satisfactory, um, which is not so swell. So in this situation, it looks like we're going to have to kill, we're going to have to get past the Unstable Ghoul, which is going to require us to swing in with at least both of our creatures and or ping. But if we ping, if we don't ping, our Noyotron dies, but I don't think we waste the two mana on that. I think we develop the Shredder. And uh, we end here. Unfortunately, we can't freeze him because we had to use our Snow Trigger to uh, get past the Unstable Ghoul. But at least we know he's playing Patron. Um, and we can kind of formulate a plan. And I don't know what kind of plan we'll have against Patron, to be honest. We we're not running Flame Strike in this deck. Uh, this is a very aggro-based, fast-paced, uh, temp or not Tempo Mage, but Mech Mage. So ideally, he just doesn't draw into Patron. If he does, we like can Frostbolt or Fireball it down pretty easily and it's weird he attacked eh, i guess it's not too weird he attacked that okay so we're going to i guess see what spare part we get nothing too crazy uh play the other snow chugger uh we can swing one snow chugger face but first we're gonna pop the shredder and see what comes out of that uh it's between our two minions so as long as it's not a doomsayer i'm okay with this not a doomsayer, we're okay with this. So we'll play the other Snow Chugger, swing face with this Snow Chugger, so he's frozen. Uh, a different play there would be to attach the spare part to our Snow Chugger and kill off the Elite, and then that live, makes our Shredder live, and then we just play the Snow Chugger anyway. But making sure he's frozen so he doesn't play weapons, to me, is more important than playing a spare part that we can use with uh, Archmage anyway. So saving spare parts is pretty important, um, even though the other play was a viable option to do. Uh, I think we're going to actually waste the Fireball here to kill the Berserker. And then we'll develop... Um, I think we develop the spider tank even though he has the possibility to brawl because we only actually have seven damage on the board. So in this circumstance, we've got we're pushing ten damage. Uh, so we don't play any more creatures at this point. I think this is a good amount of creatures to stick with, unless we maybe draw a shredder, then its death rattle will trigger anyway if it's die. Doctor Boom. Okay. <clears throat> So I think we ignore Dr. Boom, we're going to go face with our 4, go face with the 2, go face with the 3, swing our 1-4 into a bomb, hopefully it doesn't kill a creature. Of course it kills our 4-4 four, four with 4 damage, we'll ping this one, it's probably going to kill the Snow Chugger. Alright, thank god it didn't, Cogmaster and end turn. Uh, because uh, the whole point of that was to pretty much just make sure he stays frozen, we swung with our creatures first to make sure the bombs didn't kill him, which they did anyway. Like, the bomb could have killed... The uh, Mistress, or not the Mistress, but the Succubus, it could have gone face. I guess if it would have killed the Snow Checker, it might be. No, I'd probably, no. 
I, I think the Snow Striker Living is fine. There's the Grim Patron. So we've got no real way to get rid of that unless we want to sacrifice almost all of our creatures to do so. Uh, would have to swing. Never mind. We can't even get rid of it now because he swung his Dr. Boom into that. So Arcane Intellect. We'll see what we get. Ideally, a Frostbolt is the best thing we could possibly get. <laughs> and that's what we got. So we're going to Frostbolt the Patron so it doesn't make more. We're going to probably kill off our, uh, our Cog into this. And then we'll Blast Mage. Blast Mage can probably... It'll hit two face, two to boom. Yep. It always does 50-50, guys. Whenever, you, like, whenever you're doing stats on what you think the Blast Mage is going to do, always expect it to do two and two. Like, it's just the most common thing I've seen Blast Mage do. And I also, by the way, we're playing free-to-play. These episodes not are the, the free-to-play episodes I'm going to mention aren't up yet, but I actually built a Mech Mage in our free-to-play, and I forgot Blast Mage. I completely just built the uh, Mech Mage without Blast Mage, which is horrible. I don't know how I didn't think of not putting... Like, we missed out on Snow Chugger and Blast Mage. So when I post those free-to-plays, if you guys watch them, you'll actually notice that when I'm building the deck, I just completely disregard Blast Mage and Snow Chugger. Like, I have no idea what's wrong with me when I do it. We do, though. We do well, though. We build one We win... I think we go from rank 21 to 16 in almost one sitting without Blast Mage and without Snow Chugger. So maybe that's the key, guys. Don't play great mech cards. Just disregard them. <clears throat> so it's going to be... I don't see this warrior coming back from this game unless he's got, like... I don't know. What could he have? A Brawl and then the Dr. Boom lives? He might have got disconnected. But either way, he couldn't even attack with Boom this turn. And then we could have just ping Boom, swing into it with our 1-2. Swing for 8. And then we still have a creature to draw. Cogmaster. Eh. I think we're going to... Hmm. So we'll, so we'll definitely swing face for 5. Definitely swing face for 3. And then whether or not we play the Cogmaster, I think we do. Um, the question is killing off Boom. Do we kill Boom? Do we get punished if we don't kill Boom? What do we lose? We don't really lose much if we kill Boom. We lose one damage, two damage. So I think we kill Boom. Boom's worth killing. And then we're going to return this to our hand. And there's actually lethal there. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't even notice he was at four health. I'm like, obviously, I'm going to return this to my hand, deal four damage, and then they will push lethal next turn. But I didn't even realize he was at four damage. So that actually worked out really well. I'm not even... You know you're not paying attention with health when you don't even realize you have lethal. You're just like going through the motions of what you do. It's like, oh, that happened to kill me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. <laughs> Normally I save spare parts, but in that situation, you probably want to bring black, bring back the Blast Mage to do the three extra. Because warriors and armor just, they gain so much armor in one turn. Like they, they have true heart and then they shield maiden. Or they have true heart, give them the plus four passive yeah. and then they shield maiden. It's like That's nine mana. It's retarded. All right, so Paladin definitely keeping. Mm, no, I don't think we keep Blast Mage. I think we keep the Snow Trigger, and that's it. I think it's too greedy to keep the three drop as well. Or do we keep Blast Mage? I think we keep Blast Mage because if he plays Muster for Battle, it's all right. All right, so Mana Worm one drop is nice. Wow, Mech Warper on two, sweet. So drawing the Mana Worm was nice. Uh, keeping the Blast Mage for Muster. It's situational, but for the most part, I think. I mean, what paladin doesn't have mustery for battle on three? It's just very common. All right, so we coined out the knife juggler. So this doesn't really identify if he's playing secret paladin or mid-range paladin yet. So the options right here are between snow trigger and mech warper. Um, I think, I think mech warper actually might be a little bit better because if he doesn't kill it, we can get the advantage from it. And if he kills a snow chugger with his uh, knife juggler, then we're not really going to get any value out of the mech warper because we don't have any mechs in our hand besides the snow chugger. So it's either like just play the mech warper now. If he doesn't kill it, we get advantage. And if he does kill it, then we still have snow chugger to be able to freeze him. And then we swing face for one. I think that works. I think that's fine. Okay. But I think he's going to kill the mech warper. Like he'd be so dumb not to. So shield a mini bot. Wow. That went face is not really going to make a difference. What? Wow. Okay, so now we're just going to snow chugger, ping the knife juggler, and then we're just going to swing face for two. Again, making mistakes. You always got to kill the mech warper, guys. Even if mana worm seems like, oh, wow, there's a value trade there, fuck the mana worm, guys. Get the, snow get the mech, mech warper out off the field, especially in mech mage. It's just like there's too many mech cards 
in the mech mage deck that you just you have to assume they have mechs in their hand you just have to assume it mech warper down mech warper down so in this situation this is why i like to keep blast mage uh not that he played muster here but if we blast mage it at least takes off the divine shield in this guy's part and then we'll be able to kill the shielded mini bot and then we will uh be able to hopefully start freezing him next turn if he doesn't swing his cog hammer into the snow chugger so i suppose we're weak to a consecrate here oh, no consecrate and he's gonna attack the snow chugger so he's actually gonna be frozen for not only um he's gonna be frozen for next turn all right, so we're going to play the Technician. No, 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 no. We're going to play the Technician after the Snow Chugger. There we go. We almost made a whoopsies there, guys. That would have been a big old whoopsies. And we're going to swing phase for five. Okay, so this game is actually looking pretty good. And we're actually, oh, if we win this, we're at rank, I believe, 10, which is pretty cool as well because we we're on our win streak from the last game. So this will actually be a pretty short Road to Legend video. He got a Snow Chugger too, a Golden Snow Chugger. Wow. So this will actually be a short video if we win this. Uh, so I, we got a fire, fireball, the sludge belcher here. There's no option around it. Uh, mech warper because there's really nothing else to play. I believe we swing. I think we swing our four into here because it's better. Because then we actually get to freeze his weapon. So he can't uh, make a trade with his weapon. Because what he has on the field right now um, doesn't allow him to necessarily kill anything. If we would have swung into our snow chugger with his slime and then f face for four, he could actually kill anything on our field uh, with the weapon the following turn. So. It, this leaves him in a bit of a situation where he has to play a damaging spell um, or a creature that's not going to be able to kill anything. Mm. He will be able to freeze what card we play, but it still doesn't remove it off the field, which is what he's looking to do. None okay, so Uldemen that. I don't know why he wouldn't Uldemen prior. It would have actually killed it. Um, but then it would be frozen, but it would still killed it, denying damage. Okay, so Lotheb... Uh, we'll ping off his silver hand recruit swing for six. Yeah, that looks like the play. Uh, this again prevents him from being able to attack with his weapon, and he's worried about not only does he have to clear the low with Lotha, but he has to clear the other three cards on the field. He only has the ability to kill two cards right now, leaving two up. So if I draw any damaging spell, whether it be fireball or frostbolt, which we've used one of each, no, we've only used one fireball. Oh, Peacekeeper allows him to pretty much. Stop worrying. <laughs> Lothab's on Silverhand recruit killing duty. Zombie Chow doesn't necessarily help him. Passive doesn't necessarily help him. He swings what? Snow Chugger into Mech Warper. He swings Uldeman. Oh, no, no. He swings Uldeman into Snow Chugger. That's strange. Why would you want to... Why? Why would you keep the Snow Chugger alive? Alright, so we're going to Technician. If we draw the Reversal, we win because we use it on Lothab. We drew a taunt that necessarily doesn't particularly help us. So Lothab, no. Uh, Lothab into the creature, Snow Chugger into face. I was going to say we could ping, but that was kind of a waste because we had uh, Shredder in our hand. We probably should have played, probably should have played Shredder in between the Snow Chugger and the Technician, just in case it's like a Dire Wolf or something like that. And Rusty Horning the Lotha because this prevents him from being, being able to attack the Shredder directly. He's going to have to waste at least two creatures getting through Lotha, unless he has a Consecrate, which then he's going to be able to swing his Zombie Chow into Lotha and then be able to kill our Shredder with maybe his like a Peacekeeper or something. Uh, he hasn't played a well, Consecrate yet, so it all depends what he plays here. But he has to get through Lotha somehow, and he has to swing two creatures creatures into it unless he casts a spell because um, he's only at five health so we'll be able to push lethal next turn so there's the consecration which we semi expected considering he hasn't played one the entire game zombie chow into lothab uh probably hmm how is he gonna kill the shredder probably hmm peacekeeper into there and then Sh zombie chow into shredder and then old man into tinker okay so old man into that keeper into that zombie chow into that okay now what are you gonna do you still lose okay another peacekeeper <laughs> now i understand your plan all right so we're going to Cogmaster. we're gonna ping the three one that's not frozen and then now we're going to obviously swing for one but the question is do we freeze the aldor to stop him from being able to attack our shredder the following turn which i think we do uh, I don't think we're going to draw Archmage anytime soon. If we did, then it's a whoopsies. But at the same time, he has no ability to kill it unless he has a creature on the field that's big enough to, which he's already used. Um, okay. That explains that. So this is actually pretty good. We came into here on a win streak. We only had to win two in a row, and now we're ranked 10. 
So, uh, like I mentioned, we'll probably skip over uh, playing Mech Mage for a while. I normally play it at the beginning of each uh, season, which you guys have probably noticed. And then beyond that, I start playing Paladin, uh, a lot of Warrior, and probably Dragon Priest. I feel like building a new rendition of Dragon Priest, I think it'll work out really nice. I've got a couple ideas on that, so we'll try that out. Probably when we hit like rank 6 or 7, we'll, we'll throw in Dragon Priest. Uh, but anyway, guys, always glad to have you here at the end. I'm Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.